Hello and welcome to the Shalom TV News Update. I'm Ron Jacobson, sitting in for Tisha Bader. Kansas City shooter Fraser Glenn Miller is facing additional new charges. The Overland Park Police Department has decided to add to his already outstanding charges three counts of alleged first-degree murder, aggravated assault and criminal discharge of a weapon. Miller is already facing charges of capital murder of three victims and first-degree murder of another woman in the greater Kansas City area. Although Miller's targets were all Jewish facilities, none of the victims were Jews. Hi, Republican Texas Ted Senator Cruz. Ted Cruz garnered support with the Israeli public while on a two-day visit to the Holy Land, stating that he believes the collapsing of the latest round of peace talks between the Israelis and the Palestinians was due to the fact that the Palestinian Authority refused to recognize Israel as a Jewish state. He also repeated his call for the resignation of Secretary of State John Kerry following his statement that Israel was at risk of becoming an apartheid state. During his stay in Israel, Cruz met with Defense Minister Moshe Ayalon, Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein, Economy Minister Naftali Bennett and Knesset Opposition Leader Isaac Herzog. Senator Cruz's name is being floated as a possible Republican presidential candidate in 2016. This is his second visit to Israel. I'm not sure that uh, Panama is the greatest country in the world, but Panama is the greatest friend of Israel in the world. Panamanian President Ricardo Martinelli was in Israel this week for a farewell official visit with the Jewish state, as he's about to leave office in July. The Panamanian president pledged his eternal support for Israel even when he's out of office. Panama has been a close ally to Israel in the international arena, siding with the Jewish state on various resolutions at the UN alongside the US and Micronesia. MSNBC's host Tor Neblet got into hot water last week as he suggested in a series of tweets that the Jewish survivors of the Holocaust succeeded in America because they're white. The co-host of The Cycle apologized for the tweets Tuesday, stating that it was a dumb idea to debate serious issues like racism in 140 characters or less. The Simon Wiesenthal Center was quick to react and called Neblet's actions reverse racism. Have you already heard of the new talent reality show Rising Star? The format for this show originated in Israel and has already been sold by Keshet International to over 25 countries. ABC will premiere Rising Star on its primetime schedule June 22nd. Academy Award winner Carol Bayer Sager, best known for her hit song That's What Friends Are For, was on hand at Barney's New York to launch Bayer Nova's new skincare line. Bayer Nova's products have been in development for over three decades by Jewish-Georgian-born scientist Dr. Michael Danilov and bring a unique approach to how to keep young. I just always knew I was Jewish. I went to Temple in New York City when I lived here. My father was Orthodox, my mother was conservative, so and I was a member of uh, Park Avenue Synagogue here in New York City, and there's a plaque there still for, for my dad and my mom. Um, and now I live in Los Angeles and I, I celebrate and observe the High Holy Days. And so I still do the things that are important to me. And before we go, here's a quick look at programming highlights for this weekend on Shalom TV. Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, we bring live Shabbat services from New York City's Central Synagogue. Sunday at noon Eastern, Rabbi Charles Sherman joins Mark S. Golub to share his story of extraordinary family transcendence on the latest edition of L'Chaim. And this weekend on the Jewish Film Festival on Shalom TV, join us for The Quarrel, which brings the powerful story of two Holocaust survivors arguing on faith after the Shoah. The Quarrel will premiere Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And that wraps up yet another edition of the Shalom TV News Update. I'm Ron Jacobson, sitting in for Tisha Bader, wishing you all a wonderful weekend and Shabbat Shalom.